So let's start generating some geometry. So I'm going to look at the shape of this thing, and I'm I'm vaguely oriented around the origin. So I want to start tracing the outline of this. So what's the best way to do that? Well, let's just do it with a polyline because that's simple. And I'm going to start at zero by hitting zero, enter, or return in this case. And I'm going to shift drag to the right, and I'm just going to click. I'm going to hold down shift again, drag vertically and click. And I'm going to click over here, shift drag, click here. Now, I want this point here and this point here to be lined up. I don't want it to be really fat or really pinheaded, right? I want these two to line up. So I'm going to hold down Option. I'm going to light that point up, and look what happens. There's a little tracking line that comes up there that says on orthogonal on tangent, which means it's lined up with that one right there. So if I click there, I'll know that these two points are lined up. So I'm going to shift drag straight up. I'm going to just drag over, shift drag up. And then I want this point and this point to be the same. So I'm going to come down here and I'm going to light this up. And I'm going to hold down my option key. And see how it says intersection? Boom. I know these two points are now lined up so that when I revolve this, I'm going to get a closed object. So that's great. So that's our profile, right? That was pretty simple. But this water bottle doesn't have sharp edges. So I'm at a decision point. Do I want to add my shape to my curve? Or do I want to revolve this first and add my shape to my 3D generated object? Well, in this case, I think I may do a little bit of both. I know for a fact I want this to be filleted on the bottom. But I'm not quite sure what I want to do with this stuff in here. So maybe what I'll do is I'll fill it a couple of these curves that I know for a fact are going to be filleted. So let's go ahead and do that. So let's go ahead and go ahead and grab the fillet curves tool. And we're going to set a radius. And in this case it's set to a quarter of an inch. That may be pretty big. But let's, let's take a look at it anyways. And I do want it to join. I do want it to trim. So let's go ahead and just put a fillet here. So that's not bad. But maybe it's not big enough. So I'm just going to undo. I'm going to right click. And look, there's a repeated commands dialog box here. I'm just going to fillet curves. I'm just going to pick it from there. I don't even have to go back to this. But I want to bump this up. So let's go, I don't know, 0.5. Click here and here. That's a little better. So see how cool that was? I didn't have to go searching around to find out what I did last. I just right click, and here's a list of the recent commands that I've used. We'll get into wireframe shaded, all that kind of stuff later, but I just wanted to show you that for right now. So I know that that's in there, and that's good. I feel good about that. But I'd, I'm still not quite sure what I'm going to do up here. So maybe I'll leave that for later. So let's go ahead and make some geometry first and take a look and see what we're going to do. And I'm going to do this two ways. I'm going to purposely I'm going to purposely do it with and without history so I can show you what's going on here. So let's let's revolve it. So I'm going to click on the surface tool and hold and this whole pop-up menu of stuff is going to cascade down here. So I'm going to revolve select the curves to revolve. Well, it's going to be that one, right? So I right click to sit, to hit enter. Start of the revolve axis. The revolve axis is the axle that this thing is going to spin around. Okay, Think of your curve as a tire, and your axis is the axle that it's spinning around. So I'm going to hold down Option, and I'm going to click to the end. And then the end of the revolve axis, I can just hold the Shift key and click anywhere. I don't have to go all the way up. It doesn't matter. I just have to give it an indication of what's going on here. So I'll just click up here. and what I want to do is I want a full circle, so I'm just going to click full circle and the command completes. Now look what we did. Ta-da! Water bottle! Alright, now that's cool, but